Problem 5 states the orders for ampicillin suspension 600 mg POQ 8 hours. The liquid stock supply is labeled 250 mg per 5 milliliter. How many milliliters should be given? To answer this question, we will have to set the goal of milliliters. To begin the process, we will start with the doctor's orders. In the doctor's orders, it also indicates POQ 8 hours, which translates into take by mouth for the PO, and Q 8 hours is every 8 hours. We will begin the process with the doctor's order as a fraction, shown here with a denominator of 1. Using dimensional analysis, we will create a conversion factor fraction so that we can eliminate the current order in milligrams, and to do so, we will have to have milligram in the denominator so that they cancel out once the multiplication is performed. The problem supplies the relationship between milligrams and milliliters, and if we take equivalent values, shown here, 250 milligrams, equal to 5 milliliters, and express them in a fraction, the fraction has a special value of 1 that when multiplying by 1 doesn't change the value but will allow us to convert from one unit to the other. When we perform the multiplication here, as we previously discussed, milligrams will cancel out with the quantity in the numerator over the same quantity in the denominator having a value of 1. To multiply fractions together, we multiply numerators, 600 times 5 for the new numerator, and 1 times 250 for the new denominator. Final simplification will be the division of the numerator, 3,000, by the denominator, 250, to give us a final answer and the unit that we set as our goal of 12 milliliters. In this problem, the order is potassium chloride 30 milliequivalents POQD. Stock is a liquid labeled 20 milliequivalent per 1 milliliter. How much would you give? To answer the question, we are converting the current order in milliequivalent into milliliters. To start, the solution, we will begin with the doctor's order, which we see is 30 milliequivalent. Milliequivalent stands for one thousandth of a chemical equivalent. We will express this order as a fraction, shown here with a denominator of 1 for an equivalent value. The rest of the order has POQD, PO standing for take by mouth, and QD is daily. Continuing then with our conversion, we need to determine and create a conversion factor fraction so that we can cancel out the milli equivalent. That will require to have that same value in the denominator so that the common factors will cancel out. The potassium chloride on hand shown in the problem has a 20 milli equivalent equal to 1 milliliter. Expressing equivalent values in fractional form shown here has an overall value of 1, a very special one, which when multiplying by 1 doesn't change a value, but will allow us to convert from one unit to the other in our multidimensional analysis. Canceling out that common factor of milli equivalent We'll move forward with multiplying the numerators and the denominators with the results shown. Final step, we'll do the indicated division to simplify our answer, which is in the units that we set as our goal, milliliters, and 30 divided by 20 will give us a value of 1.5 milliliter for the dosage.